as far as food. Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin says that food need has always increased around winter time. But with some federal COVID benefits set to possibly expire in the coming months, officials tell NBC 26 has been broken that the need could be even greater this year. We saw a lot of programs come out to support people during the, the pandemic. But back in May, a national food box initiative came to a close. We saw an uptick when that program ended, right? So more people were needing to go to the pantry and the pantries didn't have, you know, a huge supply of food that was they were used to during the pandemic. Now another program could expire at the end of this year. Maureen Fitzgerald of Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin says emergency pandemic money for people on food stamps will likely end at the start of the new year. That's an extra boost on top of normal food stamp money. The extra money could end if the national public health emergency is not extended. And come January, Fitzgerald expects another influx of food bank clients. When that sunsets, that's really what we're having our eyes on, because that will really change the food help that people are getting right now. According to Fitzgerald, food stamps help more than 700,000 Wisconsinites, and Feeding America projects over 10% of the state will experience food insecurity this year. We don't want people to ever think that, that we're going away or that we won't be here to make sure that people have access to healthy emergency food. At St. Patrick's Pantry in Green Bay, Chris and Janice Clemens are already seeing more traffic. This week alone is just all of a sudden we're like doubled up what we have been seeing the last the last few weeks. So it's there's been an uptick before winter hits. They'd like to bring on more than the four volunteers they currently have. We think we're going to need to rise above, you know, at least five, you know, just to keep the uptick. So we're trying to get our volunteer numbers back up as local food pantries anticipate increased need. They say they'll have the supply as long as the community continues to lend a helping hand. We're there to help them. We're there to feed the hungry is what we do. In Green Bay, Ben Boken, NBC 26.